and former First Lady Laura Bush is with us, and it's an hour of honoring teachers. The Laura Bush Foundation for America's Libraries gives grants to teachers and libraries on a yearly basis. Mrs. Bush, so how, do you, how did you come up with the idea for the foundation? Well, it was because I visited schools so many times when George was governor, of course, and then in, um, when he was president. And I would find that the schools that really needed the most books were the ones where children needed the most books, in the neighborhoods that, uh, where children needed to be able to check out books from the library. So I found, started the foundation, and uh, we give money to school libraries for books and materials, and, and it's been great. I mean, it's been terrific. We've given lots of money over the years, and I, I think it's helped, I hope it's helped the schools everywhere across the country. Oh, that's an amazing thing to, to give to people. Um, so how does the, how exactly does the Laura Bush Foundation choose who receives grants? Because that's got to be hard. You probably get a lot of, you know, admissions for, for needing help or submissions rather. We have a committee of people who are librarians or former librarians who do all the, you know, we study each of the schools. A lot of times they'll visit the schools to see if they uh, need the, the uh, grants and Anyway, a committee takes care of it and chooses them every year. How many schools applied this year, just to get kind of a rough idea? I think there are a couple of thousand that have applied this year. Wow. Which is great. It's great. That also means that there's a lot of need, though, as well. So of the 200 schools receiving grants, um, 15 are represented here today, um, all from my home state of Texas, your home state of Texas. Um, we have their school <laughs> librarians in our house seats. Um, so, ladies, say hello to Mrs. Bush. Hey, everybody. Oh, that's so cool. It's so great. I'm so thrilled to see all of you. Thank you all for coming on. It's terrific. It is. Um, well, these schools went above and beyond in their applications. Um, Roxanne Martinez is the librarian at Travis Middle School in McAllen, Texas. I said middle school, so y'all start praying now. They can be hard. Um, and Dana, <laughs> Dana Tellup is the library aide at Hillcrest PDS in Waco, Texas. So thank you so much for being here. Um, but Roxanne, I'll start with you. How will this make a difference at your school? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mrs. Bush. Thank you so much. Uh, this grant is going to make a huge difference for our Travis family. Uh, like Kelly said, we are passionate middle schoolers here at Travis. 100% of our students are on free lunch, and we are along the Mexican border. Um, so like so many other schools throughout the U.S. after last year's pandemic, all the books and resources that had been borrowed from the library were now lost to the wind. We haven't seen them since. And Texas in McAllen, we had a winter storm like other Texas towns. I think a lot of part of the nation also experienced the winter storm. And our families in South Texas were not prepared for the freeze, the loss of water, electricity, or some of the pipes bursting. But we have amazing teachers here at Travis, and they all came, even though some of them also had lots of resources to do a blanket drive. And just to give you an idea of the need of our community, because some of our students actually called their teachers saying that they were so cold. Um, but I love our Travis family. Thank you for this grant. It's going to help our students replenish, our students and us to replenish the resources. We appreciate it so much. Thank you. Thanks, that's a wonderful story. Thank you for what you're doing. Um, but Dana, I want to ask you as well, how, how will this make a difference for you? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Mrs. Bush. This is going to make such a big difference. Here at Hillcrest Elementary, our kids love to read. They love getting to take home stories. They love getting to read new books. To have a brand new book and, and experience that, that joy and, and the new book smell and all of that mm. will be amazing. And we know, like you said, that, that it, it matters um, when you're represented in your books, when, when your name matches with, with the author and you have those things in common. And so we really want to make sure that our book collection reflects the diversity that our students represent. And we want them to see their skin color, their culture, their stories. And it's going to make a huge difference. I can't wait to tell them that they're gonna get new books. So thank you. That's so great. Oh my really gosh. Really great. Um, thank you so much, Roxanne and Dana. I, I'm so happy for you. Um, good luck with using this money and good luck with your, your kiddos, all right? Thank you.
All right. Thank well, um, many of the teachers wrote in and talked about how they needed more diverse collections, um, like Dana was saying. Um, and that's a that's a big thing right now, right? That's right. Exactly. And, and that's one of the great things that the Laura Bush Foundation can do, and that is mm. uh, provide the money for them to pick their own books that they want, that they think represent their students and give their students a diverse um, opportunity to uh, know about other people as well. Absolutely. So I'm thrilled. It's great to meet all those librarians. Absolutely. Opportunity, man. That's the word. Um, it's the magical word. Uh, well, Mrs. Bush and I have some good news for the librarians at the 15 Texas schools who applied for the grant. Um, we reached out to our friends at HEB. In 2011, HEB launched a statewide early childhood literacy program called Read 3. It focuses on educating parents and caregivers about the need to read to their children a minimum of three times a week. So important, y'all. Um, HEB's goal is to empower Texas families, ensuring all children have the tools and resources that they need to have an equal opportunity to succeed. So they are making sure you each get an additional $6,600, $6,600, because they're donating $100,000 to the Laura Bush Foundation just for your schools. <laughs> yes! Thank you, Justin, for holding that giant check. <laughs> I love, I love that giant check. <laughs> um, that, that's so exciting. Thank you so much, HEB. This is, it's gonna, it's gonna be so helpful for these schools. I can only imagine, especially hearing my mother come home every night. You know, money is always needed. Um, but the, the Laura Bush Foundation for America's Libraries provides funds to our neediest schools so they can extend, update, and diversify library collections and help students develop a love of learning. Uh, to find out more, please visit bushcenter.org right now. Want more? fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool. I'm just saying. No pressure.